folks, it's been a minute. You're probably wondering, Bugsy, you've been gone for a bit. Well, I haven't really been gone, I've just been releasing you know, AI music. Which again, just trying to show that, just trying to actually show people that like, AI can be used for recreational use. I mean, I could get the, I could get this some AI tears. I literally, I literally put, put, put some of the, put some of the uh, songs on like Spotify. But I don't think anybody would want them, especially the very Mario musical. I'd probably run into some actual fucking legal problems if I did that shit. My other stuff, maybe you know, I don't know. But you know, like me, I'm just gonna like. I do I do the whole music thing for fun. It's a way for me to stretch out creatively. And you know, so some lyrics here. I'd be like, hey, um, check this too. I got these lyrics here. Got a chorus, got a bridge, got some verses. But can you make it flow just a little bit better? And they'd be like, boom. Showing you that AI is literally just a tool, folks. Like it's not big and bad. We're not going to deal with Terminators in the future. I fucking hope not. <laughs> but by that time, we're all dead anyway. So it's like... Hmm? <laughs> but I'm just like... I'm just saying... Do I think it's best? Hmm. Now, I'm saying if you really want to... If you really want AI yeah, to be taken a little seriously... I have like a commission artist to draw that shit in that like in like a style you actually want and then boom. I think AI art could be used professionally as like references of how you want it to be drawn. To make it look more original. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't have to doesn't have to be big scary and shit. I'm just being real with you. My AI music is a way of just kind of me just expressing myself creatively where I normally would. I normally couldn't. You know, a lot of people, and you're probably wondering, uh, they why'd you put, why are you doing this very Mario musical? You know, good question, per, good question, person, person that's not actually real. Okay, let me explain. I just. Like, the real reason the Very Mario Musical actually came about was, literally, I got, you know, I kept looking at, uh, the I Hate You Mario Creepypasta, Creepypasta, where Luigi's, like, hating Mario, and it's, like, it's never really clear why he's hating him. Because, to me, Super Mario World's too early for Luigi to develop these feelings any fucking way. And you can't, you can't give me that whole, well... Maybe a developer uh, in Nintendo actually put this through, and like somehow the person that was playing this got to this. It's like you're telling me a freaking gigantic Koopa cave bleeding blood into the water, and you're going through a creepy version of the fucking level itself with dead Mario's and all that other stuff would actually be something that Nintendo would literally consider. Motherfucker, I, I, there is suspension of disbelief, and then there's just dumb shit. <laughs> I gotta be real. The I hate you thing may be kind of cool for like its own little shock value. You know, Luigi being a crispy skeleton at the end after he boiled alive by the lava. But like, I saw this like edit where Luigi's like looking at the where the actual Luigi's looking at the crispy skeleton, going like, "What the fuck?" Or he's in coordination there, he's like, what the fuck? And I'm just like, I don't know, I kind of like the fact that, well, what I set up is like, Luigi is kind of possessed by the entity, kind of a la Majin Vegeta, Majin Vegeta style. The entity really feeds on Luigi's negative impulses that he's developed over many, over the years that he has been in Adventures and how Mario's always been taking his spot, like, even though Mario, do, Mario doesn't mean to because I don't like making Mario to a complete and utter asshole, because Mario to me, 
Sonic's the cool guy that can act like a jerk sometimes. But Mario is the fucking dude that, like, will, you, like, you call him up, and he's like, hey, Mario, I need, I need to fucking, I need to move. I need, I need someone to help me move this furniture. And Mario be like, okie dokie, I'm coming. So I can't see Mario being, like, an actual evil, actual evil or thoughtless dickhead. I mean, it's good for those parodies. But to assume that Mario would literally, literally kick Luigi into the lava, literally cause Luigi any kind of pain, and literally kill his brother, I don't know, I just, it never really sat right with me. The shock value hits, but when you're done with that shock value, like, take Super Mario Suicide, for example, like, you take that shock value away, what else are you left with? Just a bunch of shocking images and fucking Squidward looking like he about to, like he about to either a blow his blow his uh, squid out, or b looking like he needs some fucking clear cell. Like, you know. But the whole thing about the very Mario musical. First, I wanted to see if like see the way I could pull off something like a musical, which I kind of kind of can, I kind of can't. But I really, but I gotta be honest, I really did, I really enjoyed this little experiment, and people, some people that can see it are actually enjoying it, I'm like, hmm. And then, you know, I made the Spatelview Plus unofficial, unofficial theme song, because, honestly, I don't know, man, it just seems kind of, I, I'm not telling anybody for the Spatelview, the, uh, the uh, Spatelview Plus folk to, like, you know, use this as their official theme song, but it'd be cool if they did. I'd be like, whoa. Because with every, because the thing about Spino AI is, you know, I'm writing all the lyrics, getting a little help from the chat GPT, but it's all me, basically. You know? And that's what I'm trying to say, that AI is a tool, and I'm using, like, both things to craft some good shit. Hell, with the Mirai universe, I'm crafting actual, legitimate, like, comics and scripts for, scripts for freaking various specials and shit. The creativity I have right now is just through the roof. You guys can, you guys can hate me all you want, say that, Say that AI is this, that, and the third, but motherfucker, the one thing that I feel like none of you are getting in this is that there are people that will use this for money. Okay, that's just how the world that's just how the world is working, okay? Motherfuckers will find any way to make a quick buck. There is there is no fucking question about it. But you gotta understand also that even though there are motherfuckers out here trying to gain a quick buck. There are people out here that are just trying to have fun. God forbid anybody have fun around this fucking, this fucking world, this fucking just earth, this universe, this place we call the human race. God damn. Like, I be seeing people just be having fun. Every motherfucker and the, every, every motherfucker and their mama want to just be like, harsh reality, give them it. I'm like, dude, let these motherfuckers have fun. Sorry that you ain't. Sorry that you had a bad time in life, but shit, have some fun, laugh, enjoy your life, stop fucking fighting with people on fucking Twitter and doing all this shit, it's stupid, because you're proving one thing, you're proving that you're easily angry, you're proving that you're easily agitated, you're proving that no matter what anybody says, they can say a few things and you're already on a 10. <sighs> And I do not agree with Counselor Geek saying that AI, generative AI is theft. I think it's, I think it's not even that. I think it's a lot more nuanced than that. It's just people acting, acting stupid because, you know, instead of attacking, instead of attacking the actual people that are using this to make, make a quick buck, like the companies that want to push out actual, actual artists from cartoons and various things. You're not attacking them, you're attacking the people who just do this shit for fun. 
like, what the fuck? I think that, I think that fucking shit is just, it's proof. It's proof that all you motherfuckers will turn on each other in the last minute. If we were actually, I feel like if the world was in danger, that's when I'd be scared. Because none of you motherfuckers would act right. <laughs> Little thing like AI and another thing I'm not going to talk about on this channel pretty much shows me that none of you could work together if it really mattered. If there was a zombie outbreak, we're fucked. Because all of you guys are going to... Because all of you are going to just do things from your best interest while the rest of us try to survive. That's how I, that's how I feel. We're all going to get fucked because none of you will probably do the one thing that we all ask you all to do and be like, No, I'm not doing it. I won't do it. It stomps on my freedoms. Watch. It'll be another vaccine, y'all. Motherfuckers will be like, No! Oh, my God. That's been eating at me. But I feel like another thing is just, it goes with the Sonic fandom too. Like, everybody's hating on Lanolin, uh, one of the other characters in Sonic, and I'm just like, in the Sonic comics, and they're like, but Lanolin's acting like a hard ass and all this other stuff. But I'm like, dudes, hear me when I say this. What, we can't have fucking conflict? Do you want Sonic to just save the day? A lot of you are like, no, no, I'm one of the other characters. Then let there be drama. Let there be tension. Let there be something. But y'all acting like it's so wrong for Lanolin to make a mistake. It's part of the story, guys. We can't be sitting here pretending like... We can't be sitting here pretending like this is the worst thing in the world. I think the only thing I was mad at was like... Sir, the one shotting, just one shotting Metal Sonic. I, I just find that kind of dumb. You know, motherfuckers crucify me like you try to do my friend Kev, but like legit, I think that was dumb too. I think that was just me going, my character is better than you, regular characters. And y'all know how I feel about that if you actually watched, if you actually heard me when I talk about Doctor Who when they got freaking. When they brought Captain Jack Harkness back and I gotta be real. Jim the freaking Burger King adult club was like clowning on him and shit. Oh yeah, he's cheesy. Oh, like your Bur your Burger King kids club is better than better than uh, what Russell did back in the day. Yeah, no, you can never be you can never beat him. Okay? And he's struggling right now. I will admit that. I've seen a few episodes. He is struggling. I'm not going to talk about it and tell the view who, but... Eee, what I heard, it wasn't a... I've seen a few. I've seen, like, bits of episodes, and I'm like, mm, I don't know. And they're starting to do, like, fourth wall breaks. I'm like, oh, my God. Is that Disney shining through, or is that BBC shining through? I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared. But back to my original point, I just feel like there isn't anything wrong with people just trying to have a little fun, you know? Whether that be AI or just talking about fucking Sonic, god damn. Talking about Sonic, like, talking about Sonic anything is like a goddamn minefield you gotta freaking walk through slowly because a bunch of fans get so butthurt if you say one thing about me and Flynn. And I know I talked about it in my other video, but it's like, I'm talking about it again because I still see the shit. What the f Like, everybody's like, don't talk about this. Fuck this. No, 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 no. Anybody that says fuck this in the comments just because I'm talking about you and Flynn, Flynn, fuck you for for five minutes. Just, just fuck you. Because let me just explain something to you. People can't critique writers and artists if they so choose. You are not their guardian. You are not their friend. You are not their backup. If Ian, if Ian wants to, if Ian wants to say something to all the criticism, motherfucker better re be ready, willing, and able to defend himself. He doesn't need all of you to be like, oh, oh, Big Daddy Ian, please, we'll, we'll stop them, Daddy. We'll stop them. Oh. I'm just like, and if anybody gets mad that I'm talking about this again, seriously, fuck you.
I I mean that in a like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> because it's like, think about it. Think about it. Because people can't even share their opinions about Ian Flynn if they don't like him or not. Because it's just like an attack on him. Motherfucker, let people say what they want. Are you anybody's fucking father? Are you anybody's fucking parent? Can you control what they do? Can you control all of our free wills and make them go, No! Okay, there's people that don't like IDW. Big whoop. Motherfucker, everybody got their... Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. If we had the same opinion... The world would be a boring ass place. Mother motherfuckers out here eating boiled goose. Because they don't want chicken. <laughs> or beef. And sometimes liver. Yes, I eat liver. It's delicious. Liver and onion's good. You guys should like honestly taste liver and onion pretty good though. Anyways. But like I said, like I'm just saying, if y'all don't like if y'all don't like People talking about your golden boy Ian Flynn, and to the point where it gets you that mad and angry. Because my one of my homies, you know, sent me sent me some troubling shit that another fan said to another fan, saying he wanted to do horrible things to those people, and I was like, what the actual fuck? Just because they talked about Flynn? Are you fucking serious? I ain't gonna show it because I don't want to give this person any fucking props. But I'm just like, damn, are you are you really for real on that? Like shit, dude. What do any of these people do to you? What do any of these people do to you? That's what I wanna know. Any of these motherfuckers did to you? Just because, like, personally, just because they said they didn't like Flint, Flea Boy and his writings. You need to fuck. Like, honestly, all you motherfuckers that worship Flynn and just you bristle at the very light mention of people not liking his shit, you need to understand that not everybody's gonna have the same taste as you. Not everybody's gonna be loving on Flynn. And could we please, can you uneducated people that don't even read Archie comics, can y'all just fucking say one thing? That one. I, like, the there have been other people that have written the books, and I only use Kim P and say I only use Kim Penders because I don't know anything about the comics. I don't want to learn anything about it. And me spreading a bunch of misinformation, giving Kim even more fucking credit, is not helping the situation. Also, also, also Bungie Prime Rocks. If you, if you say all that, if you say, if you say the last part, you're a dork. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I made you say my, my character rocks, you're a dork. Um, okay, let me just, and you know what, let me sit down, I'm just standing, I'm just, I'm standing up talking to you guys, let's just, let's sit down, let's just sit down for a minute. Mm. You know, this room is a hallmark of my nostalgia, and oh god, just look at the blister swords, look at the blister swords. I, and if you come over here a little bit, look at this link. Look at this two blade. It's kind of the same replica I kind of have in my room, my actual room. I kind of like the, uh, it's like a complete replica, but kind of like one of those cosplay ones. But I really do like it. Heavy as fuck, too. <sighs> but yeah. Just a little bit about AI, Flynn stuff, and just, you know what, you know, let's lighten, let's lighten the mood a little bit. Let's lighten the goddamn mood. So, other than that, what have I been doing? Other than, I've been playing this bitch hell of you. I wish I could get it to work in here. 
but there's a whole thing about like the uh, client, the auto updater. Because I would totally hook it up in here. Like no, bu- not, like no bullshit. I would hook it up in here, and we just have a we'd have a stream of me just playing it on a actual CRT TV. Also, sometimes I like to come in here and just I take I take I take um, a broadcast from the Internet Archive and I just sit down and watch. I'll be like, I'll be like, hmm. I'm kind of mad that like other. MUVR things look better than uh, what I got right here. Um, I remember I had a, I remember when I would show this to like other people, I had like a friend that was like, "Dude, I want to get a camera." I'm like, "Yo, I just want to show this off." What if it gets old? Then you just be chilling. Or as, as one. As one dude once said to me, dude, it's McDonald's. My friend Todd said he was no longer with us. He was no longer with us. He would always say, like, dude, your room is like, this virtual room is like McDonald's or Paradise. I'm like, bro, it's not Paradise. If it was Paradise, there'd be a, there'd be a kitchen out there and I'd have Big Macs. And virtual Big Macs I'm just shoveling in my mouth. And I wouldn't be worrying about my own fucking diabetes. That would be paradise. <laughs> oh, man. I miss my friends every day. I know, I know I'd start out with singing and all that. But, you know, I get kind of hooked up. I am kind of hooked up. I still do. I'm not trying to rant like I used to, but it, it comes back, dude. It's it's been the, I've been doing those I've been doing those for like two decades. I'm trying to stop, and I'm trying to lower. I'm trying to just go after like groups that are like literally going after a gang, instead of just like going after individual people. You know, weaning myself off the whole like hardcore thing. That's why I'm trying to stop. Sometimes. It's hard. But then I think about what Tasha would say. She'd be like, she'd be like, dude, stay the course, man. Always, always keep trying, always try to find the best way to do what you do. I remember he told me this before, uh, before I, the last time I saw him. And he said, folks, is like life. It's full of twists and turns, man. It's never, never let, never let shit get you down. And I know things look bad at this point because I was dealing with, I was dealing with some shit. I won't tell you what shit I was dealing with, but I was dealing with some shit. He's like, bro. He's like, I love you, man. And I was like, I love you too, man. It's like, bro. It's like, yeah, man. He said. He, he said he was going to go surf the, the next day, and that was the last conversation we had. Miles, um, Miles, my other friend that went along with me, uh, he said, you know, me and him had a discussion about, like, SNK, and that was the last time we talked. through a whole me and me and my friend Sky we went through this whole thing a few weeks ago because they left a bunch of scheduled uh, messages from their old computers that I actually had to get back <laughs> and it just always like been they made a bunch of messages from this other group both of them and I just Next one I, the next one that uh, Sky shared with me, I died my eyes out. He said because this one was actually from somehow there there was there was a message from Jake. I don't know. I think probably Tasha saved this 
because you know Jimmy Jake was closing. He guy looked at it and he said and just said simply. He said simply, love you or do not do anything. Anyway, long story there. I guess the good thing is just at the bottom part is it just said it was just said forever in Chicago. And then like Chicago wrote something at the bottom saying Benji he never blamed you for any stuff that happened. Took me a while to get over it too, but there it is. I just always kind of punish myself for that. You know? Just sorry about it. One of the guys fell in love and like literally five in, five engine deep one way me down and ended up being real fun with our own set of misadventures and shit <laughs> and sometimes I reflect on those times I reflect on the more turbulent times and I shouldn't be reflecting on those times I should be reflecting on the good times all the good all the good stuff we did and all the good stuff we did when we were chilling out. <laughs> oh man, I remember when I was still doing physical therapy. Every time I jerk, right, I would just hear, like the physical therapy playlist would always be the playlist that my friends used to use. And I was like, I always took that as a sign of my friends looking down on me. I was like, I better not. And uh, I like to take this part of the video and say bad words. So I've seen the confidence grow. I've seen what's been going on in the past week. A day or two, probably two. You know, I know I hate you and I, I tease you a lot. And I've probably said this to you before. I want you to know that you and the others were my pleasure. And it sucks that the rest of the world is here to see you finally, finally become the guy I always knew you could be. You are my friend. My friend. My raggedy right now that someone needs you you just you stand up to that challenge and I am so proud of you if you can hear me like I, I said that really well I am really honest to God proud of you and I want you to understand that yeah it's you Jim but I never I never hated you or anything usually I just Usually I would just mess with you. But it did toughen you up. So, some things did work out. <laughs> As they often do. But hey. We'll talk a little bit later about certain things. No. I know you. I know you have a little dream. But we'll talk about that later. And I will tease you. Like all times. <sighs> Look, folks. I'll tell you this. I am not a perfect being. And I do find the treatment of people who don't like me in Flint rather shitty. Because I do. I feel like no one can say anything in the Sonic community without a bunch of fucking morons just bitching and moaning at them for no reason. Like, we ain't allowed to have no opinions. We ain't allowed to talk about nothing. 
And with dance, you're not allowed to talk about fucking Sally because a lot of you are just like, right, they shove it down our throats, our throats. I'm like, motherfucker, so we can't talk about a character that we really feel could come back. And I'm so, t- and I was tired because also, like, last week or the week after, it's been a minute. Like, this one Fast and Furious dude, like, kept spamming in my comments. I don't think the Eden Fighter will ever come back. I, because IDW, because they're doing IDW, and they, and the Freedom Fighters are not owned by Sega Japan. No, they're owned by Sega all, all the way, but this motherfucker just really tried to get my goat. And it's so annoying. It's so annoying to deal with, like, these fucking IEW Ian Flynn crackheads. And it can just be really annoying because it's never just, A, hey, I like the video. Now, nah, it's usually just motherfuckers talking about IDW on videos that ain't even about IDW Sonic. Or old videos that I've done in the past that I probably don't even feel strongly about anyway. And like the one where I was worried about the Freedom Fighters, it was like that hope that they were going to be in IDW because people kept saying it and there were rumors spreading around like wildfire. But this motherfucker just literally copied one of the shit he said in one of the other videos I, I had up. And he was just saying that shit. And I just got so fucking just angry. I got angry about that. And uh, I can actually... Sh- I will... I could actually... I'm going to read it off to you. Because I want you to... I want you to see that. I want you to at least hear it. Because I'm not going to show the actual thing. Because, you know... I ain't getting... I, I am not going to be held responsible... For a motherfucker trying to attack... A motherfucker. I'm not going to be held responsible for that shit. So we about I'm about to literally show uh, this hold on okay this is taking a minute <laughs> desktop pets hey look Hey, take a look at that. It's on Steam. I gotta go check that out. Mm. Mm-hmm. Give me a moment. This is taking a minute. Like, this dude just said the exact same thing. Like, I prefer IDW Sonic. The Freedom Fighters will never appear, never come back. Because it Japan doesn't own them. And IDW Sonic, IDW Sonic is being translated into Japanese, blah, blah, blah. Same thing, and then he's, and then like seven months ago, he did the exact same thing. I know this is seven years ago, but I'm gonna make the point anyway. I'm just like this motherfucker knows that this that this video wasn't really about that. It was like literally about. It was literally about like I was hoping that the vampires would show up, but this motherfucker just copied it in every fucking video that I had about the vampire. Like, he really wanted me to say some shit, and I just said, I gave him a blast. But since he kept, like, since he kept, like, spamming the exact same thing, I blocked him, because it's like, if you're not really gonna say anything of of actual note and just be a dick, you know, because he, I didn't feel like he shared his opinion because he wanted to. He just wanted to be a dick because, you know, because, I don't know, these Sonic fans would be, like, acting like, well, I want to talk about the about the post reboot. I'm like, motherfucker, 
do I look like a person that talks about the post puberty? Like, and every time they be like, oh, fuck me, you know, Shally shucks. And like, how do you want me to respond to that? Like, <laughs> how do you want, how do you want a person like me to respond to that? Okay? Like, dude. Like, there are people that have actual disagreements about Sally that I will actually listen to and respect. But then there are people that just want to dump on, dump how much they hate these characters onto me. And they see the fact that I, I'm a Freedom Fighters fan through and through. And they just be, they be looking at these videos, when, especially when I show this. They're like, you motherfucker. You motherfucker out here with your with your sonic with your sonic bed sheets <laughs> you fucking asshole seeing the squ seeing the squirrel chipmunk makes me angry I'm just like bro she's just a character she's she's not even real but like I be seeing people really go out their way to hit on Sally I just be sitting there going yeah you got problems like actual problems like, they be getting physically, like, fucking, like, mentally distressed. And I've seen a lot of that. Um, early, two th mid 2000s, going into the 2010s. Like, it's people getting so bent and butthurt about Sally. Because the moment we talk about Sally, like, everybody wants to just go, Err, I don't like this character. I don't like the fact that Sonic actually had a love interest way before Sally. Oh, it's just like, bro. Like, Jesus. It's a whole different continuity. Archie, Sonic, and, Sally M and Sonic, Sally, and M are two different continuities. You have Sally everywhere. You have Amy everywhere else. That's what I don't understand. Like, the moment we start talking about it, these motherfucking... These crazier Sun Amy fans, like I'm talking about the I'm talking about the ones that be really like out here threatening you with violence kind of shit. Y'all have Amy every and to those people, I wanna say this again. I repeat this all the time in some of these videos, and I just wanna say this. You have Amy everywhere else in any in every every in every out oh, hold up, hold up again. <coughs> In every part of the Sonic franchise. But the moment we start talking about Sally, all you guys want to act dumb. Yes, we know you. <coughs> we <coughs> know you love Amy. You've made, y'all made that abundantly clear a bunch of times, but like, can y'all at least give, give Sally a chance? Fuck, fuck, listen to Sonic Polaris. You know? Why did Sonic... Why did Sonic Villains when it comes out? Because it celebrates... Everything... Everything and anything Sonic. You know, I saw Wesley... I saw Wes recently, man. It wasn't a promo. So I was like, oh shit, you got the... You got the con, man. Because yes, I'm a Sonic fan of many different eras. I grew up with all those Sonics. All different versions of them because Sonic 7 a.m. didn't come by on TV, but Son Adventure Sonic the Hedgehog did. I freaking, I freaking like Sonic X, both the dub and the sub. I liked the Adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog. I like the, I like. Heck, I like the Sonic Live and Zimmy, you know, I like the Give Me Chaos. I, I like that version of Eggman. Just kind of like, he's just kind of comic booky evil. Like, like old Silver Age comic book evil. I like that. And like, it's just, I, I just feel like the, the hatred that people have for the people that like the American canon is so... It's so stupid and played out because, like, guys, let people enjoy what they enjoy. It may not be the exact thing that you grew up with, but you gotta understand that Sonic, the Sonic, Sonic has been around 
for decades, for decades now. And y'all need to understand that we got different fans in this fandom. But to the classic fans, I want to just say this. Stop dissing on the modern fans because what the fuck? We're doing what they're doing. What you're doing, what we used to do to them. You're doing what y'all used to do to them. Like, dude, we're all Sonic fans here. Why is why is there always going to be a divide between all of us? That's why I don't understand. We talk about AI and shit, but like, this is my real point. Sonic is on an upswing, more popular than he's ever been, and we're just sitting. Yeah, you know, we're still sitting here, lobbing insults at each other, like we're still. Like, we're still all in high school, junior high, and various other places. When some of us are full-grown adults. And to the Sonic Eddie fans, I just know... I don't even get mad at the little crazier fans anymore that are, like, get, like that are like teenagers and shit. Because, you know, honestly, your taste will change when you get older. And, you know, people will see... You know, some people who grow out of that. Some do, some don't. But the ones that do, they'll find it cringe. I find it cringe that they fought against a bunch of people who just love Sonic the way they love it, just probably in slightly different ways. I will never understand people like Larry. I will never understand people like Amy Amy Rose Lover or Amy Rose Queen or any of these motherfuckers because they don't because they don't speak for the entire fandom, but they act like they do. They think that their word is law when it comes to Sonic. And to me, they couldn't be any more wrong if they tried. I feel like no one, like no one, instead of us fighting with each other all the time, no one wants to fucking listen to each other. Like, yeah, I like the RG stuff, and yeah, I like the Sammy stuff, but I also like the IDW stuff. I like the Freedom Fighters, and I know they're not coming back. I like the fact that we got fan content that keeps them alive. And I'm tired of just the same fucking argument about, like, they're never coming back in the IDW books. Who cares if they do or don't? At this point, I don't care. I just enjoy what I enjoy. Y'all act like it's so fucking wrong to see a motherfucker enjoying the Freedom Fighters. It's like, it's like, why are you guys so happy? We're not happy, so let's fucking take that down the peg. There's a lot of things I want to say about a certain friend of mine who's a Sonic fan and who has done some things. I'm not gonna say who that is. But I still but I still did defend him all the times when all these other fans literally kept messing with them. And I'm so tired of those people. Because I feel like if he was showing a little bit more respect, you know, some of the time if he you know he only let la- because the, my friend only lashes out at people because the Sonic fandom has never shown him any kind of respect or kindness. Some have, but other people just get so bent out of shape when he talks about his Sonic opinions. And he's probably done a few things that I've heard other people say, but I feel like if he was treated with more more respect and more dignity. He wouldn't have probably done the stuff he's done. It's just the Sonic fandom always trying to find a villain, find a monster, find some someone they need to destroy, and it's so annoying because we're always going to repeat that. I personally don't like Roger Craig Smith. I feel like this. I feel like the stuff he said when people didn't like Sonic R. Kind of make me, uh, kind of make me think that, um, something, something's going on between him and Indy Jones, allegedly, but I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm not implying anything. I'm not even going to talk about it on my website, quick wink. <laughs> but... I just feel that we got a lot of other people in this fandom who are dicks, who are assholes, who truly, truly deserve some of that scorn. But we can't be turned on each other just because we have different, 
we have a difference of opinion. We can't turn on each other just because one of us, everybody likes on one person likes a writer that the others do or don't. I've always wanted us to be unified as one big fandom. And I know that's never going to happen because we all, you know, some of us act immature, some of us act like loud mouths and a bunch of other shit, but I feel like we could be that if you if you all actually tried. If you all just accepted that other people have different opinions and we all embraced each other's differences, fuck, we'd actually we'd actually be a good fandom. And like Seriously, there are good people in this fandom to make art, games, and even shows. I haven't seen a lot of them lately. The only one that's still around is the uh, Knuckles and Sonic show. You know, and uh, Sonic Ops, which I enjoy. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We... Like, there's a lot of people in this fandom who do a lot of good. And I feel like a lot of people don't really see that. I used to get on DJ Sonic Freak because he said, like, everything a Sonic fan makes is garbage. And me, I'm like, says the man who made, like, a bunch of different tracks on based on Sonic stuff. So, so by that logic, you're saying your shit is garbage, too. Because you either were, you either are or were a Sonic fan. So by that logic, you're saying that your shit is garbage. By that metric. And don't even get me started on that man talking about like there's so many fake characters in the in the Archie comic books. Oh my god, I remember I made that video. I was so angry. Because this mother because this that dude did not understand that they were made for the book. So yeah, they're all, they are real. Man, Silver had a fucking sister. Silver didn't have a sister. That was his, like, friend. Again, you, again, some people who read the Archie books and that don't like Archie Sonic, they be skimming. They be skimming the book just to look for images that they hate. And it's so fucking stupid. Why are you trying to make, why are you trying to make a book look bad, man? <laughs> like, everybody else who knows the Knows the series, yeah, it's a little crazy. Yeah, it can be a little mad cap, but sometimes we get a little captivated. And I feel like the games are following soup in that in that same kind of way, but just not at the same intensity, but close. You know? But y'all feel like that because if like I'm telling you, if if the Freedom Fighters showed up and then in like a new in a, in a whole new Sonic game. All y'all motherfuckers would riot. I would see so many of you just literally losing your shit. Like, I'm telling you. Like, we'd see a massive Sonic riot, and I'd just be sitting there going, Yep, knew this was gonna happen. I can feel, I can see Azuka, like... I can see it's super like, we just wanted to give the fans what they want. And they just, and I just see a bunch of Sonic Ali fan, Sonic Ali fans just going, no, no. Okay, but, but really, I, I really do think that there are, that a lot of people would write. It wouldn't be like a big, like, with flipping cars and, and shit like that. No, it'd just be a bunch of people just screaming at the top of their lungs. People saying re. Just go, just going re. And if you know what I mean by that, then you used to be a 4 <laughs> Uh One thing I want to say before I get out of here. Do Sonic Tubers understand that, like, 4chan leaks are not real? Like, are they aware? Do they understand? Do they do they know? But Bugsy, some of those leaks were right in, in some ways. Yeah, but only because, only because A, they got lucky, or B, they're doing some stuff they ain't supposed to be doing, and that's what gets them in trouble. That's why we don't see any other leakers. Like, literally, people literally now make leaks up so they can, so they can find the people who are leaking the shit. So no, so some leaks can be real, some leaks can't be real. I really hate how the gaming community gets so 
fucking heated when the leaks ain't right. I'm like, bro, what did you think was going to happen? Everybody was talking like there'd be a new Sly, Sly Cooper uh, this year. And I'm like, homie. Oh, I mean, you can't be look. You can't be believing everything you see on like, on forums and on Reddit and on fucking 4chan. You can't be sitting there going, "Oh, this might be real." And like, that's why Zimbo left. Zimbo was like, "Nah, y'all." <laughs> like, I just stopped before some shit happened. Papa Gino doing the same thing. He's like, "Motherfucker, I am done." <laughs> I am done. I don't want to be dealing with no Nintendo ninjas breathing out my back. And I feel that. But, like, everybody who's, everybody who's a Sonic tuber or even... Uh, don't even get me started when Super Smash... If we ever get another Super Smash Brothers, I swear to God, everybody is going to be like... I'm going to be riding the hype train, but everybody going to be riding the speculation train and looking at all these leaks and shit. I'm like, bro, can we all be surprised? Can we get that? I feel like the Grinch leak ruined that for a lot of people, too. The Grinch leak fucking ruined that for everybody. I am, I, I'm completely serious. Y'all were seeing characters that weren't even there. I was sitting there going, y'all need to chill. Fuck. Characters ain't even in here. And people's like, but Bugs is, it could be. I'm like, Motherfucker. You need to just wait until the game goes out. Everybody got like disappointed when Ultimate came out and those characters weren't there and I'm just sitting there going Motherfucker, what did you all think? Y'all got mad and then when you saw Ken it was like I'm disappointed but I'm like this is what happens when a community solely focuses on leaks and then when they don't come true you just get mad at everybody and their fucking mama because you believed it. That's on you. You know? That's why I don't be looking at every Sonic leak I see. And when there's like a Sonic drought, when there was a Sonic drought, you know what I was doing? I was playing PSO 2. I, I said, have it, you guys out when y'all were screaming and crying about freaking Sonic. There's no new Sonic stuff. I was out here going, well, gonna go on PS2. Gonna go deal with Dark Falls. Hi, have fun, everybody. <laughs> I swear to God. And half of the Sonic fans don't even know about half of the stuff Sega does. And don't give me that shit that says, "Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna know." Like I don't care because they don't, they don't, they don't promote that stuff. Emulators and ROM Sonic fans. Fuck. If you wanted to know a little bit more about Sega Genesis' history and everything that was on there, Sega Channel's a good one. Not because not because I was the spoke I was the unofficial spokesman for like two and a half years. Although that is a thing. <laughs> and I'm a little biased, but it actually helps. Okay, one more thing before I go. There was this one dude called N Cube, and I hated that guy. Like the motherfucker was out here going, "Yo, Terry, uh, Kazuma, they were the worst characters I ever seen." I'm like, motherfucker. He said he was on like he said he was on Kazuma. I'm like, motherfucker, stay off the fucking espresso, dude. Shit. He's like, should I play Warrior Wear? Should I play Advance Wars? I'm like, motherfucker, go in. Go either get a cart or do or do what everybody does does and don't talk about why other people will look the other way. You know what I'm saying? You know, emulate. <laughs> Some people I don't know, I just feel like I don't know. I got mad about the whole Terry and um if you've seen um condo surfing, um yeah. Like any character that had like this big ass tangent. But it was like, I was so angry because this man was like, I don't like these characters because I don't play these games. I'm like, that's, that's what it boils down to. It's like, who cares if you don't play these games? Other people play these games. And they're happy that like a Tekken character got involved and an SNK character got involved. I mean, 
that's, that's the thing that got me mad. Like, dude, the worst character I've ever seen is laughing. He was laughing in that, like, fake mocking way, which really set me off. And I was like, I'm like, where this dude at when Sora came out? Like, oh, you got nothing to say after that. You just done now. Doing that whole YouTube burnout thing. And I'm just like, hopefully when he comes back, he can chill out. Motherfucker. Like, I'm not sure if he was on actual coffee or crack. That was my crackhead. I'm, I'm being real. I'm being real. I've seen, I've seen that shit before. I've seen, like, actual, you, like, actual, some, some YouTubers using substances to boost up their fucking video output. It's fucking weird. I hope this man ain't taking caffeine pills going, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. <laughs> now that's a reference that I'm going, that I used just to tick my sister off. I like you watch this feed, but if she ever does, she'll she'll just see that and be like, Bugsy, why? And I'm just like, sis, I just did that for you. I did that for you. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. But remember, folks, the key to being a good fandom is we all gotta listen to each other, we all gotta respect each other, and we all gotta stop fighting and threatening each other too. Cause that's stupid. We need to stop that shit. Y'all need to chill. Y'all need like Taki used to say, man, if we all try if we all try to just if we all just try to be cool and be each other's bro, the world would be a better place. Yeah, and I could do an imitation of my dead friend's voice. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't freak me out at all that I could do that perfectly. Totally doesn't freak me out. See you guys later.